We gonna start? Yep. All right, with JP. Hopefully, he fixed his uh, audio issues. So we have both of both of our players here: Raven King and Web JP. Matches that I would that I have not seen in quite some time, just because SoCal doesn't have that many Ikes anymore. Or if anything, we only have like a few Ikes, and not many of them go to locals. But I um knowing from what I know from from Mars, you know, Ness has a pretty solid job against out of all the between him and uh, Lucas. Lucas is the better does better against swords than Ness does. Alright, we're falling down with a couple nares and converting to a back air. Raven King attacking 60 onto WebJP, but up B out of shield. That fire emblem tech. Nice, good for it. So, pretty fast move, able to actually catch a lot of options in that. Wow, and he brings it all the way right back just for that extra damage, dude. That wouldn't have killed, but still, that's enough to actually give him a pretty solid lead. But we all know Ike, if he does catch you in that range of neutral air, he can confirm it into another aerial, and it could definitely give you trouble, or you will lose a stock. See how much uh, Web JP can actually just do it. Like I said, out of all the characters, between him and Ness, he does better with swords. Just because that same range a sword character wants to be in is the same range that Lucas can actually effective use, effectively use aerials like PK Fire and Zare. Yeah, but we saw that up throw. Can't forget that Lucas, like Ness, has a kill throw. It's pretty powerful. Fire. Nice, comes back on the stage. I would say he didn't have to roll from the stage. I would have preferred if he just got caught up, but that roll kind of cost him some damage. He still has a bit of a lead, so he just has to be careful when he comes back. His get up options have to change a little bit, especially against high and higher percents. Because when if you do if you do opt for a roll, then you can get caught by neutral air. Wow, because of the fact that Ops special does have a little bit of invincibility on the starting phase. Yeah. That's the fire emblem tech. They all do it. Nice back throw. This. That was gonna say it's probably the kill, and if it doesn't, puts them in such a bad spot. Yeah, but there's that cleanup. Raven King bringing the percents back to zero zero piece, but Web JP still up a full stock. Down throw back air, all right. Nice, good for stage positioning. Puts Lucas in the corner. Right, gives him a little bit of time to work with that situation. Nice, he's gonna go for up air, really good. Like I said, he wants to make sure he goes for a consistent corner carry, especially when he goes for anything from a confirm. And that's something that I could definitely do. He can do a pretty solid job of corner carrying you, but also the fact that he has good knockback to boot, that makes the character really scary to deal with. Yeah, we've seen him go for those up throws quite, or a few times already. You can see WebJP knows how to DI and when to air dodge to avoid the forward air. But Raven King has the mix up. I'm curious to see if he's going to use it. Like as long as uh, WebGP opts for another air dodge, he'll be able to like wait out the air dodge into a back air and that will kill. Okay, go forward throw, get the DI mix up. Oh, we're getting clipped by PK Thunder, still able to make it back to the ledge. Oh, clip. Was that a shield poke? That was a shield poke. Oh, chasing with the PK freeze. Now we have JP fishing for one up air, gets the nair. We can try and convert, gets sniped, and wow, that's enough. Just able to take this one over Raven King. Raven King, not too bad though. Like I said, like once I get those confirms going, the character can definitely snowball. Uh, but it is about him getting those confirms. Unfortunately for Lucas, like he does those range. Like I said, that range Ike wants to be in. Lucas can definitely accelerate it in there too. So good stuff. Yeah, I like the way that Web JP was really his approach to that matchup. You could see that he was always trying to stay within like a certain distance where he could pressure with PK fire and still retreat. Uh, and he wasn't going above Raven King either. 
Like, he wasn't trying to utilize platforms against Raven King. He just consistently wanted to stay in front of him or behind him. Yeah. Like, it didn't really let Raven King utilize the platforms with those up airs that covered the entire platform. Yeah, I, I feel like that's, that's the best way. I honestly, you know, there's no better way I could have put it. He did play that matchup really, really well. Hopefully, we'll see how Raven King can adapt here in game number two in winner's quarters. Starting off with a dash attack, though, probably not the best option. The Aang lag will lead into an opportunity for WebGP to put in 28% and climb that even higher. Okay, here we go, Nair. Oh, missed, missed the wrap. I like it though. Still goes for the attempt just because, you know, at that opportunity, the more combo and options that we, Lucas can actually get on Ike is much better. Yeah, those falling nares. Not being able to reach with the back, with the up air. He continues to swing though. Gotta give it to Raven King. If he lands like one conversion from there, it's gonna be one dead Lucas. Yeah. Ooh, there it oh, is! You're setting yourself in five holes, you. It's all about getting those conversions to you. Like he, like I said, he snowballs you, but he has to commit to those. And when he does, it either means death or big damage. And for Raven King, like I said, right, it's that one opportunity he needed. It's true. Okay, we're good. Down till. I'm just like so curious as to why Raven. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I think that was maybe it was meant to be an S match or something, but. Uh, I'm curious to see why Raven King consistently goes for like back airs instead of up airs. Like when I think he's it's just, from up till in air. It might be more of a thing of a DI mix of like he might be anticipating the fact that WebJP might be already DIing away from up air. So his back air, the, I think the two times that I've seen him go for back air, they connected. And it was a little bit because WebJP was actually like DIing away. Because so that was pretty good on Raven King's. But it's all about knowing that percent in which which you know your opponent can just DI away and then you can punish him for DIing away. And at that point, it just kind of becomes almost like a 50 50. Okay, we're well, falling there into up air again. Oh, off stage? Has to go for quick draw. Yep, I like it too. Waits for the opportunity to actually come back on the stage. He knows, just come back, wait for your opponent's assessment, especially with PK Thunder lurking. Quick F tilt, but no jab lock from WebJP. Nice. He, he caught him. I got opportunity. I feel like he understood. Like, okay, he's going to go for this again. I cannot just let him get this for free. I have to literally take the stock now or I'm going to be way too far behind. Oh, close. I feel like that might have been a misinput that up though. I think he was trying to go for like a, a, uh, a buffered aerial, but... See the damage that WebJP was able to attack on, especially utilizing the platformer's advantage again. But a big up smash from Raven King. That's gonna be that's gotta be scary for WebJP getting hit oh, by he, that. He, he fears it at this point too. Like he knows, like one one misstep here and it's curtains too, so he knows 98%. That's prime Lucas death material. <laughs> nice, careful, he doesn't panic here. Raven King a little bit on the cautious side. He might actually, yeah, he has to burn that quick draw, but he's still able to recover. Goes for them the second time, makes the recovery. I still like the fact that even though he knows he's going to go for a quick draw, he goes for PK Thunder just because it can potentially mess up the recovery. Yeah, and you got to attack on that extra damage too. You can't just let your opponent recover for free. Yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, Ike still goes into free fall. Yeah, he still goes into free fall after a quick draw. He doesn't know, oh, but unfortunately, WebG Raven will land first. Just to steal the game here, one one apiece. The Raven King can come back. I think you got the auto tuner on. Wait, what? <laughs> I heard him say, "I think the, you have auto tune on." I was like, "What?" Yeah, you put the you put the T Pain soundtrack on. Oh, dude. Yeah, T Pain. <laughs> I'm gonna buy you a drink. T Van. Yeah. Damn. I was hoping I'd get it. <laughs> Especially it's when never he says, there when you want it to. <laughs> it's Especially never when there he says, when you want it. When he says, ooh, we, oh, I want that auto tune on just for that part. Best part. So, no uh, blue SSB. All winners' quarters and losers' quarters. Anything that's not semis is best of three. Anything semis and up is best of five. Ready? No, 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 no. Anything that's top eight is best of five. Yeah. Semis. Semis and up is. Top That's eight. not. 
It's not semis and losers, though. Loser semis is part of top eight, isn't it? Yeah, but you started top eight and losers round four. Oh! Yeah, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, Kurt, you're right, you're right, you're right. He's running back to Battlefield. Interesting that uh, Raven King allowed WebJP to come here uh, just because WebJP was so dominant on the stage. But it's understandable. I mean, we, we were able to see Raven King utilize platforms on Pokemon Stadium 2, and you could see, like, just even having that extra bit of extension uh, helps. But keeping the percents really close uh, for the start of game three. Oh, close. Nice. Goes for up throw. No up there though. Still good to that. 95 for Lucas. Yeah, he'll probably die to that. But he actually opts to like hold forward a little bit to control line on the stage after Ether. Oh. Good punish on the awesome. mistech though. Yeah. I'd guess that's the Raven King. I actually hold on the quick draw all the way so he can just get across from Lucas. Doesn't want to be anywhere near him after TK Thunder. And get the drag down there to up tilt. Trying to trying to shark with the PK freeze, but doesn't find it. Another drag down into up tilt. Wow, up B had a shield. Even with the platform extension, not a not enough to take a stock. I guess that's that's a good thing. You don't want you don't want Fire Emblem up B taking stocks, right? Yeah, you don't. <laughs> I think I think everybody has suffered that plane from Krom before, so. so if it comes to Ike, I don't think they want to feel it at all. Raven King though at one has he, I'm just gonna say like he's at one opportunity if he just gets to read of the ledge, he'll pretty much get the stock. And he does. Yeah, that up tilt's gonna catch the get up from ledge. And now you can see Raven King fishing for another Nair to get that damage online. There we go, one Nair to up tilt, easy damage. WebJP is gonna do his best to. Oh! oh he's, he's, dead. Uh, he's dead! Yeah, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. At that That's point. A big catch from WebJP. Yeah, I, at that point, because the, the, the way that. Free PK freeze sends you to like look towards the blast zone. It's Cardin's Frank, especially below the stage. Yeah, that was such an early stock too. That's that's unfortunate for Raven King, but Web JP happy with that pickup. See another one. I'm gonna try for it again. Okay, kind of baits it out, showing that he's crazy enough to to use the PK freeze again. He misses the down air. He kind of needed that to get something started here, but unfortunately, he's able to come back 78%. He's got the stage control. I was going to say, if he can get the Nair, he could probably skill the deal here. Close the sail and push a new one. Nice. I think that's the one thing I kind of want to see from Raven King now that I'm seeing these empty hops. Not even these empty hops, just these aerials. If he's going to go for things like that with Ike, he needs to start utilizing Tomahawk grabs because the mix-up is really important against opponents, especially like Wave JP. That's true. Okay, but back at the ledge. Oh, opting for down tilt instead of up tilt. We saw Web, uh, Raven King catch with the up tilt before. I don't think Web JP is really expecting it. Yeah. Not at all, but I think Raven King is constantly optimistic about using up tilt because, like, well, that was close. That was, that was a touch away from death. Yeah, we're getting caught back at the ledge. Web JP throwing more projectiles. Oh, chasing him! <laughs> yeah, he's a goner. He is a goner. The second that he direction, I think I don't know if he air dodge or direction air dodge delay. The second that he did that, he was already gone. He, I think it's like he had. I don't know how many frames you're stuck in in terms of end lag, but it's significant enough if you're directional air dodge or if you just air dodge. And either way, he was just a goner. So good stuff to Web JP for like. Doing an excellent job of just keeping Ike from recovering on the stage. I think he adapted to that pretty much. Because he understood that recovering and said, you know what, I can just do these two things and Raven King has to suffer because that's you know, Ike has no other better recovery. Yeah, 
I think he was forced to use the directional air dodge, though. He didn't have his second jump. He needed to stop momentum and make sure that he doesn't land to the blast zone. And yeah. then it was just good on WebJP to recognize, okay, directional air dodge, he's going to be a pretty much a sitting duck. And he won the game. See, but that should put us at our first winner semis match Tony Zatank and Burst. Uh, I think Burst sounds like another Sonic if you ask me. Uh, Inkling, actually. Oh, yeah, okay. I remember Burst was here a week or two ago now. Yeah, I'm a little upset. There's a. We didn't get to see their winter quarters match. Uh, cause that would have been Terry versus Inkling, which sounds, sounds like a fun match.